different, Ben, when it comes to your footy career versus your running career? How different are they? Well, funnily enough, so, you know, back in the day, running used to be my job, but now running is the escape <laughs> from my job. <laughs> you know, I work pretty big days, but I really try to fit in a run sometimes, and it makes me feel so much better for getting back into work. We all talk about that run as high. Why is it so important for our mental and physical health? There's a couple of things. A, being outdoors in nature, fresh air, sunlight are so good for you as well, as well as those post-exercise endorphins that really make you feel good. So apart from sort of the cardiovascular health and the mental health, what's some of the other benefits we can get from running? There's the, the, the longevity. There's been studies show that you live so much longer mm. for running regularly too. Obviously, calorie burn, weight loss, so you're carrying less weight on your joints, on your knees, on your back, so it's actually not bad for your joints. Mm. Running is good for your joints too. As a woman, what are some of the best ways to build muscle fitness? It's gonna really improve my core, my fitness, and my overall strength. There's a lot of running related things that women can do that can help them with that. So running hills is really good for your quad and core strength. Another way is sand running too, which is great for your lower body strength. And also doing some body weight resistance training, things like lunges, squats, planks, and dips are gonna really help you build your strength. So Ben, I love running, but what's some of the ways I can avoid the early burnout? Yeah, look, I think running some really nice routes as well, like I like running around Sydney Harbour, Bondi Beach, things like that, where you're really kind of entranced by nature. But I guess another way too, when I run, I like to run near a bus route, so if I don't want to come all the way back, I can just hop on the 333 <laughs> to get me back home. I like that one, I'm going to use that, or a taxi stand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love what you said. You what do you run? Five Ks in three hundred and sixty-five days. Was that hard yeah. to get both? So that so I, I just finished up. I'd run five five kilometers a day, every day, for three hundred and sixty-five days in a row. And for me, I think the five K distance is achievable for anyone. It only takes between twenty-five and forty minutes. You can fit it in at lunchtime. Sometimes I had to do it early in the morning. Sometimes I had to do it late at night after I put the kids in bed, but I can find 30 minutes at some stage during the day to get the 5K done. If I was going to do a fun run, how do I set this up? What are some tips? I would make sure you give yourself enough time. So six, eight, 10 weeks apart to train for it. I would set a regular training plan. Okay, I'm gonna run on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And I would also add in some other sorts of training too. Would you do some strength training, doing some yoga, doing some core work, doing some Pilates, things like that, they're going to assist with you being a better runner.